Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. And now we have joining us the presumed nominee, as we like to say. It's not my first time at the rodeo. My whole life, at the end of every primary, I find myself face to face with the imperfect candidate. Thanks for inviting me. I'm a big fan. Sometimes I like to imagine what it would be like if the imperfect candidate talked about himself the way that people talk about him all the time on Facebook. You know, I am pro-life, but there was a time when I wasn't. I think that makes me highly suspect. During a primary, everybody picks their favorite, the person who resonates with their values. But the odds are somebody else is going to win, and it's somebody you did not choose. I stayed in school, I made good decisions, I ran a successful business, and now I'm kind of wealthy. I lay awake at night and wonder whether I just bought this nomination. And then, even though people mostly agree with where he stands on the issues, they complain about everything he's not. To be honest, the men and women that I beat in this primary are way better qualified than I am. Suddenly, the competition is not another person. He's being measured against imagined perfection. I know I'm not exactly the person you pictured, so I can't ask you to vote for me. Sorry about that. So now, we have a decision to make. Who do you look up to? If I were a series finale, I'd be the last episode of Lost. And if I were an American Idol contestant, I would be Sanjaya, or maybe Constantine. And if I were a Star Wars character, Misa would be Jar Jar Binks. Will you spend a lifetime longing for the perfect candidate, or will you pick someone who's closest to your values and get moving? So my advice to everyone this election season, sit on your couch in front of your TV and complain. There's no more Oprah. Right into the okay. camera, whatever you got. Our guest is a Let's try that again. That was good. I wasn't even going to go there. <laughs> it just sounded like I was going to go there. Uh, nope. Okay. okay. Ready? Our guest today, guest, why do you give me hard words? 